You call me the River Brent, although I have been known by many other names. Once you called me Brigantia, or Bridget, or Breeder. I was named, you see, after the goddess, the goddess Bridget, bringer of poetry, springtime, and love. When first I rose hundreds of thousands of years ago, almost all around me was ice. Then, as the air warmed, I carved out my bed, 16 miles in all, from Barnet to Brentford, and then on to the great river Thames. And from there, out to the sea. I flowed wide when you humans first came walking over this land, when it was still home to mammoths and oryx. For many years I flowed past sleepy hamlets and villages where people drank from and washed in the river. The drovers walked beside me as they brought their flocks to London, then traders carrying their wares. Between my banks flow the commerce of the land to the north and west of the great metropolis of London. Once, my waters ran clear and full of fish. Oak, ash and hazel drank from my water. Butterflies, dragonflies, damsel and mayflies dipped and skimmed across me. Shimmering trout swam in the water. Beavers, water voles and otters made their homes on the banks. I was home to such an abundance. Now, my beauty remains but it is scarred. In places I am held fast in concrete channels. My water runs tainted with diesel and grime. My banks are bare or overgrown. As you humans built up your city, you built your dwellings and your roads above me. The rain had no earth or plants to soak it up, so I flooded into your houses. So, you channeled me, buried me, surrounded me. But then how can fish swim upstream? How can the frogs and newts breathe in water thick with sewage and avoid eating plastic fragments? But I am still here, and recently I have noticed something new and wonderful. There are people studying me, cleaning and renovating, replanting trees and flowers, laying wood in the water. Placing of large pieces of wood into my channels is making me healthy again, helping me to flow, bringing oxygen into the gravels and creating new homes for fish and other organisms. Since they have started doing this, life is returning. The fish have new places to spawn. This Brent Rivers and Communities project connects with my people again and it gives me such hope. New paths allow people to walk beside me and to take pleasure once more in my presence. Maybe one day I may greet my old friends the trout, the water vole and the otter. Would you like to help? Well, join them. Your actions today can make a real difference. This place is your place and mine. And if we choose to love it and care for it, it will thrive. And so will we all.